Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. I hope this finds you well. And as we get started, I've got a question for you. And that is, what are you craving? And maybe it is that uh, you're watching this early in the morning and you're craving your cup of coffee or you're craving to be at the end of it if you're sipping on it right now. Or maybe you're craving breakfast or lunch or dinner or afternoon snack, wherever you're at. But really what I'm getting at is like, what are you craving with your life? What are the things that you're longing for that you're desiring to be a part of your life that you want more of? Uh, because we've been going through the, the Beatitudes, these statements of Jesus of how we live a good life, of how we find joy and satisfaction and purpose and meaning in life. And today we get to that topic of craving. So I want to read uh, the Beatitudes and catch us up to where we're at today in uh, Matthew chapter 5 uh, and verse 3. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And where we're at today, verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. See, we're, we're told there what we should be craving, that we should be hungering and thirsting, that we should be craving and desiring righteousness which is us living obedient and honoring to God in what we do with our thoughts, with our words, with our actions, our decisions, our bodies, our finances, and everything that we have in life, living out the desire to live righteously before the Lord. Uh, it's us desiring to say, hey, I want to honor and, and reflect your purposes, your desires, your designs for my life in everything that I do. And say we have so many options because we can live out our own selfish desires. We can live out the, the designs and desires of the world around us. We can pursue after things that are fleeting or we can hunger and thirst after righteousness. But if we do that, did you hear what we were promised? He says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied. Isn't that what we want? We want to be satisfied in our life, in our vocation, in our relationships, in our pursuits. We want satisfaction, and yet we know, if you've lived any length of time, how fleeting satisfaction can be and how often we are dissatisfied and disappointed. But see, what we're promised here is that if we pursue God and His righteousness, that we find satisfaction in life. It's not something that's fleeting, but something that's concrete and steadfast that we can trust in. But we only get there by hungering and thirsting for righteousness, for the, the way that God has designed our life to function. If you don't know what that looks like, then spend some time reading the Sermon on the Mount, uh, where we're at in Matthew 5 and the, the chapters following, and really get to know what is it that Jesus has taught us to do and how he's taught us to lead our life. Because when we read and apply God's word, and we truly live it out in every situation in our life, what we're told here is that we will be satisfied. So I hope today, that you would hunger and thirst after righteousness, and that you would see the perfect satisfaction of the Lord in your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.